day two in Rome. We are just um, left the hotel. We're walking to get some breakfast and we are gonna go to Vatican City. Apparently today, because it's the last Sunday, Sunday of, of the month, month we, um, you can get in for free apparently. So we're gonna try, but I've heard that the um, queues are very long. And especially because on Sundays, apparently, yeah. He stands outside of the window and gives a little wave to everyone. Yeah, and a speech or something to the crowd, doesn't he? I'm not going to lie, I won't know what he looks like. It could be some random bald man. Yeah, I don't oh, even I know the what the Pope looks if like, If he's standing actually. high, I'm looking out a window. It's, it's him. <laughs> um, so these are day two Rome outfits. Do you want to tell everyone where your outfit's Outfit from? Outfit of the day. <laughs> Go on. So the jacket's from Zara. Mm -hmm. Top is from the Tommy Hilfiger store in Primark, like always. Yep. Never go wrong. Primark Shoes. Team. Shoes are JD, just an Air Force, a little bit of red on them, you know, spice it up a bit. <laughs> and my outfit is Primark and Primark. I've got a little top on underneath for Walt, which is from Shein. Bag is also Shein. And my boots, I don't know if you can see them, are actually at Primark as well. So yeah. Good Day two in Rome. Tell them. Okay, tip for coming to Rome. <laughs> These, see this floor? Yeah. Like the cobble stuff. Yeah, which is basically everywhere. Obviously, yeah, but obviously there's the road to pavement and stuff. But Sorry, I've just looked at the map, Billy. We're off route badly. No, we're not. Very slippery, especially with shoes like Air Force with no like grip on the bottom, really. Yeah. You got to actually, like, if you're in a rush, just save some scabs on your knees <laughs> Save and yourself. walk a bit slower yeah don't rush anywhere because if it's raining these floors are extremely slippery because last night as well when we was walking back from uh, like around the Trevi fountain and stuff yeah we kind of wanted to just get home because we like woke up early for the plane and stuff so we was a bit tired and we started walking a bit quick and it was very slippery like, I thought we was going to fall over at yeah one point. basically we couldn't walk quick home <laughs> yeah so if it's raining yeah also this might not be for everyone, so please do not take offense, but every local that we've smiled at or tried to like engage with, they are so rude. I think, do you know what I actually think it is? I reckon they can tell that we're English. Yeah, they just- And I don't know why. They're just like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's obviously not everyone. No. Like, there's obviously very nice yeah. Italians. But there was this really cute old man, but I think that he oh, was English. Yeah. I don't think he was. I he think did, he, he was. He was too tanned to be English. Tanned to be English. But yeah. Um, we, we smiled at him and he gave us a real a real smile, not a friendly smile. Yeah. Also, we, well, on our way, we're on our way to the Vatican City right now. So we're just going to do we some... We think we are. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do some tips. So, one, at the Trevi Fountain, there are these men that were... Um, Polaroid cameras they literally come up to you with the camera basically in your face like picture picture um, Remember, and, and like oh you have to t like no thanks because they charge you for the Polaroid that comes out obviously if you want them fair enough it'd be but cool. it'd it's, be quite cool it's constantly like weren't they and, and then there was someone no what? I was gonna say as soon as you tell them you ain't got cash or anything yeah they, just ignore you and walk away like you've annoyed them. Yeah, like. they, they're all like <laughs> lovely to you, trying to like picture you, say no thank you, and they're just rude. Yeah. And um, I felt really bad for this couple, so someone got proposed oh, to. God. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah. Um, and so they was having the lovely moment, their daughters were like around them, they're all like like really happy, yeah. and the man goes up to them with the camera and then like picture, ruins picture, the yeah, ruins the moment because the man who proposed was like, no, no, like go away. And I just felt so bad. So yeah, that's one thing, just say no. Like we got yeah. asked probably about 50 times while we were sat there. Oh my God, and as well, remember later on in the night, we was just chilling by the fountain just to look at it, like yeah. just really relaxing. <laughs> And then someone else proposed. Oh yeah. And um, oh. we saw instantly some yeah. some the Polaroid man run from like one ran. side of the fountain and sprinted in mm -hmm. between everyone to go and ruin the moment. Yeah. Also, one of them was a bit creepy to me. So he like stood I didn't in. See this. I know he stood in front of us and um, was like picture picture, and I was like no thank you. And um, he started like taking his jacket off and saying stuff in like his language. I'm not sure where he was from. I don't think he was Italian. No. Um, but um, started like taking his jacket off and saying stuff in his language, then put it back on and like looked at me weird and winked and I was just no. really creeped out by it. 
literally like steps away from being in a different country. Aren't I we? think we probably might be right now, unless it's the border, unless the country is literally like these. Yeah, borders. look. So we are by, nearly at the Vatican. I don't know if we've got through the metal detectors oh, and are we in a different country now? I don't know. We are right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, Billy. We made it. We are <laughs> here. There's this building. We're just kind of following the crowd because we don't really know where to go to get to the Vatican. But this is unreal. Look how big that is. And we made it. We didn't even queue for an hour. We thought the queue was going to be ridiculous. I thought that for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> That's a mile long queue. <laughs> we're thinking, we just, is it really free? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> just says tickets everywhere. <laughs> yeah. We'll um, keep you updated. We made it through the turnstiles. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. What well, bridge do you want to go up? I want to go up the stairs, kind of. Or do you want to go up the. Oh no, look up. What do you want to go up? Look, they go all the way up like that. Shall we? Okay. Look at this boat. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. And look, you go up all these. Billy! <laughs> did you hear that man? He was singing from a rogue rogue in your boat. <laughs> Wait, how did anyone fit in that? Maybe they were miniature people. <laughs> Maybe they were <laughs> That's funny. Not. <laughs> oh, we should have took the escalator actually. I'm getting no, out of breath. But 22, but you We made it, guys. Wow, look at this. So that's St. Peter's, I think. Wow. Yeah, so this is the Vatican Museum. Gardens, I think. So we've got St. Peter's up there. Bill here. <laughs> Billy here. <laughs> Billy? Did you go to say my full name? Yeah. You were. I did. screen so it looks like they're lit up. saying that this is a real mummy apparently. Oh that's a bit scary. Let's not let's not do that for too long. What's that um gold ball? Yeah. This is crazy. The Sistine Chapel was like, wow. We saw a real mummy. Yeah, we saw a real mummy. Did I get footage of that? Oh, I think, have, I, think yeah. I did. You didn't believe me, it was real. Did I did not believe that it was real, but it was. Yeah, no, it definitely was. Scary. <laughs> For lunch, we've got peach diced tea, and oh my God, I don't know why I've never had this before. Mm. And we are actually next here, next to us here is the rival restaurant that we went to last night, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, what do you think is going to be better? This, this one, one, I think this one. Yeah. This is unreal. If you haven't tried Lipton Ice, is it Lipton this one? Yeah. Um, ice, peach iced tea. Try it. These 
streets are just so cute. They're like little back streets and there's like little lights. Adorable. This is the gelato place that we're trying today. It's meant to have um, better ratings than the one we had yesterday. But um, yeah, and it, so it has better ratings apparently than the one we had yesterday. So we're going to be the judge of that. Um, it and it's nice. cheaper by 50 cents. Is it cents too? Um, we just finished watching what? Man United win the League Cup. Yes. And we, <laughs> we've come to the Trevi Fountain because it's just so beautiful at night, isn't it? Yeah. But it's really cold at the minute. No, you're shaking. I'm literally shaking, yeah. I don't know if it's <laughs> picking up. But... <laughs> Bill actually just said, what did you say? It's, I think this is my favourite spot on the planet. <laughs> I think it actually is. Not country, because I love Greece. Yeah. But this is very Greek here. It's like Greek statues and stuff. It is. It is my favourite spot yeah. I've ever been to. <laughs> anyway. So it's day three. Is it day three? Yes. We have just come for breakfast. We've come to home baked grandma's. <laughs> look, look at it. It's so cute. It literally looks like grandma's bed. It's literally adorable, isn't it? And what That's have we really got? Cool, it? uh, we've both got chocolate chip pancakes. Yeah. I've got a latte and you've got fresh orange juice. Yeah. Mm. And today we are going to the Coliseum. Oh yeah. <laughs> the pancakes have just come and they look amazing. So they're chocolate chip. I think they have butter on. I kind of just let it go to the side. And maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Enjoy, baby. <laughs> a nice day today it was meant to forecast for rain but the sun is out and it's so hot isn't it yeah you can feel it on your face isn't yeah. it? we are just walking to the coliseum wow i can see it look straight through there oh my god oh my god that's the coliseum guys look <laughs> can you see straight oh, wow. there wow Wow, this is so beautiful and the sun is just making it so much better. Well done, wow. Honestly crazy and I think that we have picked the best day to come and see the Coliseum because it's such nice weather. It looks a bit cloudy but the sun keeps coming out and it's really warm. So we are literally walking up to the Coliseum. Can you see it? It's like right there. Oh my God. Excited? Very. Yes. Picked such a good day for us. Yes, it, we have. <laughs> so we are just waiting for the Coliseum tour. We got given these pink things to put on our clothes, so we're with the right people. And um, we're on the English tour of the Coliseum, the Palatine Hill, and Roman Forum. Yeah. Um, we can't wait. Apparently, it's about three hours long. You're going to be able to cope with our food for that long. <laughs> oh, we hope yeah. it's the English tour. Yeah. If it's not, we're going to be in no, it definitely quite is. a big bit of trouble. <laughs> okay, we're going out. Outfit of the day while we're waiting. Shirt is Primark. This dress is Sheen. Bag is also Sheen. Boots, Casey and boots. Oh, tights are Sheen and boots are Primark. Billy? Um, <laughs> top, Montclair. Yeah. Jeans, Primark. Yeah. These aren't actually Primark, they're from Mum's catalogue. Oh, yeah, very. Bearing. Um, Shoes, JD, Air Force. Yep, and jacket, same oh, as jacket yesterday's is, yeah. Zara. Zara. <laughs> the Basilica. Basilica is also the name used by some of the earliest Christian churches. This was a big old divided into naves, corridors. Well, wonderful video on YouTube, which will make everything come back to life. But in the meantime, we use all the pictures. Where are we? <laughs> we went down this. Sorry. Of <laughs> Vesta. having our triumph but it's backwards. We're going 
is the original Roman road. 2,000 years. Huh? 2,000 years old. Really? Wow. And we're walking on it. <laughs> We are literally sat opposite the Coliseum right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. the best view of it apparently. Yeah. That you could get. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. So we found out that it's not even really called the Coliseum. No. Um, what was it? There was a statue next to it. Yeah. That was called the Colossus. No, no, no. Um, people would say, well, um, me at the, me Colos at the Colossus. At the, yeah, yeah, which was the statue. Yeah, yeah. But then obviously the statue went away. Yeah. And <laughs> something like in, in Latin, Col yeah. Colossus is Colosseum. Yeah, that's I just can't believe where we are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Only 20% of this arch was built for custom. So they were clearly visible from a distance. What's the reason behind the house? So the gate of life. This is from 20 years ago. Because then the Italian government starts to give more money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually here. Wow. <laughs> we have just finished our tour. It was amazing. I'll leave it in the description box the people we went with because she was so good. Her name was Laura. And now we're just free to walk around to wherever we want. She was really good, wasn't she, Bill? Yeah, she was funny as well. Yeah, she was. Ooh, I just can't believe we're here still. <laughs> <laughs> So we thought, why not? <laughs> We've been at the Colosseum all morning. We've just come back into the town. And yeah. I'm being honest, we're not really sure what it is. There's sort of like a screen and then... I don't really know. We, like yeah. yeah, we feel like we're not meant to be in here. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Oh. 
bar. It's also a restaurant in there. It looks really sweet. Um, and we're deciding where to go for dinner. Um, we had McDonald's, sort of. As in, I know that's bad. We've come to it uh, right now. We've got McDonald's. Anyway, um, the menu is different. Yeah. Um, we were so hungry, we just needed to grab something. Because um, we'd been in the Coliseum from like half 11 till, well, when we got back here, it was about four three, wasn't it? Four oh, four, yeah. Um, so we didn't eat too long ago, but we feel like we need to eat something for dinner. So we, we're deciding where to go for dinner. So it's our last day in Rome today. There's a car, Billy, get over. <laughs> um, it's our last day in Rome. We've just checked out of the hotel and our times we think we're gonna go back to grandma's kitchen because we loved it so much yeah. yesterday for breakfast the pancakes you get full mm. massive pancakes chef's kiss yeah. um they were really good um what's i saying yeah we're sad to be leaving but we're not leaving till like quarter to six tonight but we had to leave the check out of the hotel by 11. um so quick outfit of the day today for our last day blazer is primark um, brown neck is also Primark and actually my trousers, I don't know if you can see, they're Primark too and trainers are Chloe. Oh, I don't think they can they see. They go really well with the trainers. Actually. Yeah, they do, thanks. And Billy, your outfit? Same Zara coat from every day. <laughs> um, Hugo Boss. Yeah. Another uh, car. Jeans are Primark. Jeans are Primark. Yep. Same air force from every day. Yeah. We had to like pack really light because our bags were tiny. Yep. So. Because yeah. we only got cabin ones, didn't we? Yeah, Not we even only cabin, had cabin ones, ones, under the seat ones. So it was really hard to bring like more than one pair of shoes, even though I did. I don't really care. Billy gave up a pair of shoes so I could have two. <laughs> um, air force go with everything. Yeah. They do, they have, they've gone with all your outfits. Luckily I've got, this is like the weirdest blue colour, but it went, goes with everything unpacked packed somehow. So. Yeah, I think it's grey. It's, it's, it's called frost blue. Yeah. On the tag it's frost blue. I see, I think. I see, because I'm so cool. Okay, my love. You know it's true. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you in Grandma's kitchen then. Oh yeah. So, uh, Grandma's kitchen was closed today for some reason, so we've come to this cute little and breakfast spot. The sun is literally right on us, isn't it? Mm. So nice. It was very nice. And it's our last breakfast in Rome. <laughs> and we have gone for pancakes again. Is <laughs> it our word? Basically, before we came out, um, sorry, I've got it on you. Do you want to explain? We was, we got these books from Carol. From Carol, yeah. And it was like the start, sentence starters, and like words you might need to know in Italian. <laughs> and our favourite one that we like remembered the whole time was, was "non falo," which means don't. <laughs> or don't do that or something. Like that, yeah. <laughs> so we've just been saying the whole trip, "non falo." <laughs> don't know if we're saying it right, but if we if we are, I think it's worse because yeah. then people just shout "don't," <laughs> and everyone's like, "what?" <laughs> We are now going back into the Vatican City and this time we're going to try and do the St. Peter's, what is it, Basilica? Um, because last time we done the Vatican Museum and the Sistine Chapel, which we couldn't get footage of because you're not allowed to film in the Sistine Chapel. Exclusive. Also, something I've just noticed, so when we come last time it was Tuesday and then... You have tickets. I just noticed so when we come last time it was sun sunday wasn't it yeah and you had to get your bags checked you had to go through the metal detectors and it's tuesday today we've come in and you didn't have any checks no. also be careful because there are people at the front saying you need a ticket you need a ticket you don't need a ticket to just walk in here do you no. and we actually watched someone before we came and they said the same thing they're oh lights. my gosh is that a cue no oh. In St. Peter's Basilica Dome. This is the queue at the minute, so it goes all the way around here, then sort of zigzags and through metal detectors. So, um, queues. Yeah, Billy didn't want to wait in the queue <laughs> for the Sistine Chapel and Vatican Museums, but I said, Bill, I really think that it's going faster than you think. And it did, but we were still standing in the rain for an, almost an hour. It didn't rain, only it for a little bit. 
Mm -hmm. We got in and that's all that matters yeah. before half and it twelve. Was worth it as well, so. Because um that was free before half twelve on a Sunday. This is free because we've just asked the lovely lady behind us and she said you don't need the ticket to get in. Yeah. Yeah. We might I be able to do the dome the then. We might be able to do the dome then without um hey, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, so got in. We're just about to go inside. And we're inside. We're going to do the dome, but the queue is just crazy. It's huge. <laughs> it's so big in here. <laughs> it's just nuts. I can't believe a building so like detailed and big. It's huge. Look at it. Is massive. <laughs> and this is the view of Vatican City. We just come to walk around this castle. I'm not sure if we have time to actually go in, so we might just walk around the edge of it. <laughs> castle Saint Angelo. Free. Oh my head. We didn't do free because we found out that the second means you're going to find an Italian man <laughs> and the third means you're going to marry him. Yeah, so we just done the one coin. I don't want an Italian man. Which means the one coin means that you're going to come back to Rome. <laughs> Which we want. And it's pizza, pizza, and more pizza. <laughs> They're just in this cute little restaurant um, in the streets. Yeah, I got margarita, Bill, what did you get? Um, can't say it in Italian, but it's got mushrooms and sausages on it. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> Just had gelato, I had pistachio and caramel, and Bill had... Coconut, mint chop chip, and banana. And they were so nice. If you're in Rome, go to, what is it, gelato? In Trevi. Gelato in Trevi. It's on, if you're staring at the fountain, it's on it's the right, right backwards, you'll see it. <laughs> the there. Yeah, but also there's one over there, which I'll show you. This one, um, here, is really nice as well. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice one got yeah. And it's our last few hours, but we've had the best time, haven't we? <laughs> Now we're sitting by the Trevi, one of our favourite places in Rome. <laughs> thing that we're going to do of the holiday is go in the Pantheon because we didn't realise but she just told us that it's free entry. We have about 15 minutes, half an hour to spare. So we're going to go in and have a look. <laughs> Oh my god, did you hear what that boy just said? That's open and apparently it doesn't rain inside. I don't know. This is inside the Pantheon. They've got this bit that's open at the top. To let you all know the boy was wrong i could see um the rain coming down and then when you stand near the center you can um, feel the rain so it definitely does come in through the gap at the top yeah i do i just want to get home now <laughs> but we had the best time yeah it was the best mm -hmm. so good Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>